Greetings. This is General of the Armies Vincent Diaz Jr. This is a communique for Vladimir Putin. Attention all world leaders, CC, all stakeholders, BCC, those living my way of life, of the way of life of mine, I have espoused throughout these sequences of communiques. Uh, here we go. I've been begging, so I'll hit this now. I beseech you to uh, start the strike sequences. And, you know, I, I, maybe this is confirmation. Maybe the strike sequences have started. If this was uh, under siege, too. You know, I've been trained. Maybe the strike sequences have begun. I don't know. Where, where is that satellite? That's the one that counts as we're about to be blown apart. Well, here we go. Russia publishes Pentagon coordinates. Says Western satellites work for our enemy. Reuters.com, seven hours ago. London, June 28th, Reuters. Russia Space Agency published the coordinates of West, Western defense. Dot, dot, dot. Reuters.com, seven hours ago. Russia Space Agency published the coordinates of Western Defense Headquarters, including the U.S. Pentagon and the venue of NATO summit, dot, dot, dot. The Wall Street Journal one hour ago. Turkey backs NATO membership for Sweden, Finland. Politico, there's a strong man holding NATO hostage, and it's not Putin. It was Politico six hours ago. Biden announces new measures to bolster NATO security against Russian threat. Explainer, NATO holds summit with gaze on Russia and China. NATO rushes to halt Russia, leaving China pivot unresolved. Euro news yesterday. Thousands protest against NATO ahead of key Madrid summit. Bloomberg 20 hours ago. NATO allies set to call China a systemic challenge. USA Today, 11 hours. Facing upheaval at home, Biden seeks to keep NATO behind Ukraine. NATO summit 2022 in Madrid, five things to know. NATO HQ, yesterday Secretary General, ABC News, 13 hours ago, explainer, NATO holds summit with gaze on Russia and China, market watch, four hours ago, Russian space agency, Roscosmos, appears to menace Western allies by publishing NATO summit coordinates, PBS News Hour two days ago, Spain warns NATO of Russian threat in Africa, U.S. News and World Report, 57 minutes ago, Russian salad, on the menu at NATO Summit Cafe in Madrid raises eyebrows. Department of Defense 23 hours ago, NATO Secretary General previews NATO Secretary General previews transformative Madrid Summit. U.S. Department of Defense, Defense dot dot dot. Political 18 hours ago. In Madrid, NATO must focus on the long term. 12 hours ago, NATO to confront China risk alongside Russia threat at leader summit. The Jerusalem Post, nine hours ago, Russian space agency Roscosmos shares images of NATO summit location. Reuters.com yesterday, systemic challenge or worse, NATO members wrangle over how to treat China. South China Morning Post, three days ago, NATO seen to hard in stance on China as support for Russia deepens distrust. WLOS, seven hours ago. Biden heads to summit as NATO leaders warn of a more dangerous world. NATO HQ yesterday, NATO summit, Madrid, Spain, second media advisory, 28, 29, and 30, June 2022. Something news yesterday, Australia and other Pacific nations, invitation to NATO meeting, signal strategic shift for alliance. Politico yesterday, an alliance, if you can keep it, NATO meets in the shadow of Russia-Ukraine war. The Wall Street Journal two days ago, Biden's NATO summit to-do list. CNA 22 hours ago, commentary, NATO meets in a world reordered by Russian aggression and Chinese ambition. Time, yesterday, NATO summit 2022, what to expect and who will be attending. Time, uh, the Hill two days ago, five things to watch for at this week's NATO meeting. Al Jazeera English, two days ago, thousands demonstrate in Madrid ahead of NATO summit. Daily Mail, 10 hours ago, NATO will face up to Chinese challenge for the first time at summit today. Las Vegas Review Journal, five hours ago, Biden arrives at NATO summit looking to buck up weary allies. The Sydney Morning Herald, Australia's NATO invitation designed to send message to China. Colorado Springs Gazette one hour ago. China says NATO making enemies in Asia. U.S. and World Gazette.com. The Nation five days ago. NATO from bad to worse. The Straits Times 19 hours ago. NATO says does not see Beijing as adversary but will label China systemic challenge and strategic plan. 
Manchester Times three hours ago. Spain, NATO, Summit, Explainer, World News, ManchesterTimes.com. Global Times seven hours ago. How NATO began with confrontation and ends with poisoning world peace. DefenseNews.com, June 21st. Face it, NATO, the North Atlantic and Indo and Indo. Face it, NATO, the North Atlantic and Indo Pacific are linked. Reuters two days ago. U.S. confident NATO strategy document will be strong on China, officials say. Washington Examiner, NATO's key problem is underlined by Madrid summit location. KFGO, 39 minutes ago. Russian salad on the menu at NATO summit cafe in Madrid raises eyebrows. KYMA, four hours ago. NATO needs to discuss adding troops in Eastern Europe as Russia intensifies Ukraine attacks. Brookings Institution, four days ago. European security after NATO's Madrid summit. Voice of Alexandria, eight hours ago. Live updates, Macron says oil prices untenable in Europe, eight hours ago. Fox News, June 21st. U.S. can rely on what China decries as the Asian NATO for deterrence, former officials say. Uh, Voice of America, VOA News, four days ago. Why NATO's China focus may endure. NATO HQ, six days ago. NATO pre-summit polling results show historically high level of support for NATO. NATO HQ, June 21. NATO Secretary General and President Macron discussed Madrid summit preparations. Oh, wow. Here we go. Reuters, June 28, 2022, 133 p.m. UTC, last updated blank ago. Russia publishes Pentagon coordinates, says Western satellites work for our enemy. London, June 28th, Reuters. Russia's space agency published the coordinates of Western Defense Headquarters, including the U.S. Pentagon and the venue of NATO summit on Tuesday, saying Western satellite operators were working for Russia's enemy, Ukraine. Dmitry Rogozin, head of Roscosmos, told the Russian RA, RIA Novosti News Agency, the entire conglomerate of private and state orbital groupings is now working exclusively for our enemy. I got my screencast uh, broken up a little. Let's see how I'm doing. Member of the U.S.-led NATO alliance make no secret of the fact that they are sending weapons to help Ukraine resist Russia's invasion. The U.S. satellite imagery company Maxar, whose clients include the U.S. Defense Department, has several times published pictures it has taken over Ukraine and Russia since before the invasion began in February. They included images of Russia's military buildup near Ukraine at a time when it was denying any intention to invade. Here's a read more link I made a mistake on. I'm going to read it really quickly. February 20th, 2022, 11.33 p.m. UTC. Images show new Russian deployments of armor and troops near Ukraine. Max Art Reuters, two-minute read. Got some pictures here. I'm going to upload them next. One of three, a satellite image shows an overview of helicopter deployments at Valuki, Russia. February 15th, 2022. And I think I'm going to skip reading the um, URL on these. Two of three, a satellite image shows an overview of a helicopter deployment, a battle group, and troops in Valuki, Russia, February 20. Two of three again. Three of three, a satellite image shows a motorized rifle battalion in a convoy near Solati, Russia, February 20, 2022. Maxar. Let's get to the article. Uh, let's see here. Uh, February 20, Reuters. Satellite images show multiple new field deployments of armored equipment and troops from Russian garrisons near the border with Ukraine. A private U.S. company said on Sunday in what its directors had indicated increased military readiness. The new activity comes as Russia extended military drills in Belarus that were due to end on Sunday, heightening fears among Western powers over an imminent Russian invasion of Ukraine. The image was released by U.S.-based Maxar Technology, which has been tracking the buildup of Russian forces for weeks, could not be independently verified by Reuters. 
This is new activity. This new activity represents a change in the pattern of the previously observed deployments of battle groups, tanks, armored personnel carriers, artillery, and support equipment. Maxar said in a release on Sunday, several large deployments of battle groups had been observed around the military garrison at Solati, Russia, as of February 13th. According to satellite images, Maxar said, Images on Sunday showed most of the combat units and support equipment at Solati had departed. Extensive vehicle tracks and some convoys of armored equipment were seen throughout the area, the company said. Some equipment has also been deployed east of nearby about UK, Russia, in a field approximately 15 kilometers, 19 miles north of the Ukrainian border. A number of new field deployments are also seen northwest of the Russian city of Belgorod, Maxar said. Based on the tracks in the snow, the activity appeared to be recent. Stephen Wood, senior director at Maxart News Bureau, told Reuters, To me, it indicates an increased state of readiness, he said. Reporting by Michelle Price and Costas Pitas, ending editing by Daniel Wallace. Russia publishes Pentagon coordinates, says Western satellites work for our enemies. Reuters, two-minute read. London, June 28th, Reuters, Russia's space agency published the coordinates of Western Defense Headquarters, including the U.S. Pentagon and the venue of NATO summit on Tuesday, saying Western satellite operators were working for Russia's enemy, Ukraine. Dmitry Rogozin, head of Roscosmos, told the Russia RIA Novosti news agency, the entire conglomerate of private and state orbital groupings is now working exclusively for our enemy. Members of the U.S.-led NATO alliance make no secret of the fact that they are sending weapons to help Ukraine resist Russia's invasion. The U.S. satellite imagery company Maxar, whose clients include the U.S. Defense Department, has several times published pictures it has taken over Ukraine and Russia since before the invasion began in February. They included images of Russia's military buildup near Ukraine at a time when it was denying any intention to invade. Which Western countries will declare Russia their worst enemy? Rogozin wrote on his Telegram social media channel. I, I'm not sure if I have this if I have this screen cap right. Continuing, Roscosmos publishes satellite photographs of the summit venue and the very decision centers centers that support Ukrainian nationalists. The posting included Russian satellite pictures of the summit venue in Madrid the Pentagon, the White House in Washington, British government buildings in central London, the German Chancellor and Reichstag Parliament building in Berlin, NATO headquarters in Brussels, and the French president's residence and other government buildings in Paris. At the same time, we are giving the coordinates of the objects, Rogozin added, just in case. The coordinates, expressed as degrees of latitude and longitude, are freely available. Russia calls its invasion a special military operation, saying it had to act to protect Russian speakers from persecution and prevent NATO using Ukraine to threaten Russia's security. Kiev and NATO dismissed this reasoning as a baseless pretext for war, reporting by Reuters. Wow, man. Wow, it's like a friggin' white squall, white squall just erupted here in the, the sea of terrorists. I'm staying afloat and trying to get these messages across. I beseech you. I beseech you, man. I mean, clearly. I mean, clearly. If, if this was just Ukraine, you're just blasting the shit out of the buildings. Pardon my French. But I mean, I mean, some doo-doo might fly. This would probably be easier. It would be better for all life involved. Uh, so I'm going to upload these photos the way I've been doing. Please, strike now.